Residents of Kidetok Town Council say at least 100 born-again Christians from various churches in Serere, Ngora, Kumi and Sorot districts under the leadership of Joseph Ikwaret had secretly converged in Christ's Disciple Church for 10 days of prayer in preparation for their journey to Ethiopia. It's at that time that they were asked to raise a minimum of 2 million shillings each as transport costs to Ethiopia to hide from a disastrous galaxy that would destroy Uganda and the rest of the universe except Ethiopia. The information we already we got that for one to go to that such a country like I mean going to Ethiopia, one had to come up should have two million shillings for the preparation of documentation and travel expense. So other people could not raise that money. That's why people sample remain behind. They went with their children, with their women, and uh, even the children which were at a distance, like in Kampala, they were called and they were all travelled. I'm also told they were stopped along the way, but they were able to penetrate through. And now, as we are talking, they are in, they are in Ethiopia. It is said that some of these believers had to sell off their property to raise the funds. They have actually even sold. They have sold their land, they have sold their houses, and almost everything that they had, they have sold. He didn't have any criminal record, so as a church, for us, we thought like they were having fellowships and prayers. Even some of our senior members of the community, have been members of the same churches, like uh, one of our commercial officers here, together with their wife. They have been our civil servants here, but they have been members of this very church. But it has come to our dismay that they have also disappeared and gone with this very group. This kind of thing here uh, can make even the, the gospel hard to be preached and to those that are not born again, if all this cannot come to a success in the way they are saying. Police spokesperson for East Choga region, Oscar Agecha, says they have opened a general inquiry into the matter. More than 100 members uh, from Serere disappeared uh, from their communities. Uh, upon uh, our investigation, we have realized uh, yeah, other members are missing. For example, in Mora, uh, we have uh, a few individuals missing, and we have also people in custody to help with the investigation into this matter. You must realize, as Ugandans, we have religious freedom and then freedom of association. These are constitutional mandates which I, as Uganda Police Force, we cannot abrogate. We only, well, that's why we have opened up a general inquiry file to find if there are any laws broken in these disappearances. If it is legal, we shall leave, let it be as such.